So no one's in the back chewing down on the bone. So if you hear some nasty sounds, uh, ignore it. Capture One 14's out and they gave us some new tools that are freaking going to save so much time for me. And I just wanted to share it. So you see, I have some layers up here. This top layer is just brightening up their eyes a little bit. But if we go to this layer, I'm going to turn it off. You see what it's doing to the background. Let me turn on the mask. Look how clean that mask is. How I got that super clean mask, you see we have this magic brush. I'll just show you what it does real quick and then after that I'll take you into Photoshop so you can see how I used to do it. So I'm just gonna go and make a mark here because I want the background to get selected and you see instantly it selected the background and it's not messing with her. Now I will show you there's some things you have to do. So as I keep swiping on parts that I want selected, it's doing pretty great right now, actually. See, and it's just cutting around them beautifully. It's kind of getting the hat in there, but I'm not too worried about that. So I just started using this yesterday and it's, I did it for all these edits. I'll show you guys these edits real quick. These are the final retouched ones. So yeah. Uh, so I just started using it yesterday. So I'm still trying to figure it out. But so far, say if we wanted to get off this tree here, the only way that I know of right now is to click E to get your eraser and to erase it and you can select your, you can make sure auto mask is on. But other than that, I don't know if the magic brush has like a magic eraser. Uh, that would be kind of cool. If you right click with the magic brush, there are some tools that you could get. So we could do like refine edge, sample entire photo. I only know what this does. This is how fresh this is to me. But uh, so let me turn off the mask and you see now our adjustments are being applied. And all I'm doing is I'm just using the skin tone tool to even out all the greens when it's off. Bushes behind them are a little bit distracting and just like the whole background's a little bit distracting. And then once I go and even it out, bounces out a little bit. And then just for reference, here's my final retouch. So this is after I took into Photoshop and retouched the photo, mostly just them. And then I do some like contrast tweaks and all that. Let me open this in Photoshop and show how I used to do it in there. Okay, so in Photoshop, you used to have to go in and create mask and you had to kind of know what you're doing, but now they have a new tool under the wand. I used to just use the quick selection tool and uh, I would just click around, but now they have this object selection tool and I will just go over the whole photo because they're taking up a lot of the photo and you'll see this tool will go in and just select them out of it and it's really clean. It's still cleaner than what Capture One would do, but again with Capture One, I can now go in and make that mask and then apply it to all the other photos and just redo the mask, but all the settings in there are consistent. So before I would have to go in Photoshop and do that all by hand and it will take multiple layers to try to get like the same effect. Now in Photoshop, it's just way easier. So you see it didn't get everything. So I would just go hold down shift, select from there, just keep doing it till it's fine. So you see it's kind of similar to the Capture One version, but the Photoshop definitely gives you a cleaner mask. And now if I click option, I can deselect parts. So again, so far in Capture One, uh, I haven't seen a way to do that. And then from there, I would start doing all of my curve adjustments. Let's invert the mask. And yeah, it would just, it would take so much work. Uh, I could try to do it quickly here, but uh, let's see. Sorry again, if you hear my dog chewing on a bone. So see, I'm getting it kind of close, but it's still, I have to go in and start masking out the sky and all that. So there's a million ways to do one thing in Photoshop. They All the tools basically do the same thing, just in different ways. So that's the one thing. But uh, I mean, I kind of got it close to there already. Kind of, uh, it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of similar. They kind of take around the same amount of time, even though there's different workflows for them. But again, I can now take this photo and then I can go to my other photo and then apply it to this one. And then I would just go in and repaint the mask back in. So for me, this just makes my workflow even more simpler, especially because of the, the color editor tools in Capture One are really simple and powerful. Again, I could do all the same stuff in, in Photoshop and probably do it even better, but uh, it takes a lot more effort. So the whole reason I got into Capture One in the first place back in the day was from Canon over to Fujifilm. Fujifilm didn't work great in Lightroom at all. Went to Capture One, ended up finding out Capture One is just a beast. And so from all the cameras I've had, from the mini format Fujis to the X-Series to the Sony cameras I had, any Canon I have now, and uh, whatever other cameras. I use for Capture One for everything now. I try to go back to Lightroom just to test it out, and it's just, it's trash. So uh, Capture One, yeah, that's it. I'll start rambling on. Peace.